गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स सो वेलकम टू दी मल्टी बैगर चैनल वेल विथ मल्टी बैगर चैनल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर द सेवेंटी सेवेंथ इंडिपेंडेंस डे इन इंडिया एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द टॉप टेन स्टॉक दैट कैन हेल्प यू टू बेसिकली फ्री फ्रॉम द फाइनेंशियल problem in the next few years these tennis stocks has given ultimate return in last few years 10 to 20 years and there is a big potential of these stocks these are having very good potential maybe in the future they can also give a multivagger return to all of you before taking any further position in these stocks i will request to all of you please contact your advisor to take any further position in these companies okay let's see what are these ten stocks first pdlite industry limited this company is is basically very good company has given a multiple return in last few years market cap 128000 crore stock p93 usually these kind of branded product brand retail brand and the product is basically highly consume consumable product usually having the high p and if you see that last few year trending of this particular pedialyte you always see this particular stock is always moving 70 80 90 100 p stock kagar compounded annual growth return is 26% for this particular stock it's given it's Uh, this stock has given a, a very good return with comparison to another asset uh, within this 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 asset uh, process like for example you are having gold land those have given uh, few few percent but this company this particular pd light has given 26% return in the in the few last 10 years debt to profit 0.3 companies having some debt but they are recovering very fast price to book value is 17.9 means whatever the book value of this particular stock is there the current price of this stock 2537 is something 17.9 times from their book value sales growth of this particular stock last 10 year is 12.4% and profit growth of this particular stock in last 10 year is 12.1% sector chemicals and growth factor 4 growth factor 4 is considered very good as far as this particular consumption model is concerned this stock is very very monopoly business you can say because in this market in this consumption market using this kind of product this company is having monopoly there next asian paint limited this stock is is something you can say the product is used every time everywhere and for example you you are buying a new house you are buying a new car you are buying a new toy everywhere you need a paint you want color so this asian paint is having great market leadership in this particular paint sector okay so what is the market cap of this particular company market cap is 3 lakh 7193 crore stock p366 10 year kagar compounded annual growth rate for this company is 23% and debt to profit 0.46 company is so these for example pd light and asian paint these company are having some debt but they 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 are recovering this debt very fast price to book value is 19.2 times whatever book value this particular stock is having the current price 3203 is something 19 times from their particular book value sales growth for this particular stock is 12.6% and profit growth for last 10 years 12 14.2% sector is paint and chemical growth factor 5 so whatever whenever you see the these kind of consumption model stock like paint like fabricol like this kind of brand usually they consume having the growth factor 4 and 5 but but you can say it's very very uh, good stock where you can you can always check with the advisor before taking for the position in this company next stock is infosys limited this is the ultimate it and software company in india having the great market leader i think in the india if you talk about the big market leader infosys tcs wipro these are the top brand top companies 
basically providing the good software and, and IT services. Infosys having market cap is 5,078,000 uh, crore. P23.4 stock 10 years uh, CAGR compound annual growth is 14%. Debt to profit 0 0.35. The company is having debt but recovering fast. Price to book value 7.77. Current price is 13.94. So current price is something 7.77 times from their particular book value. Sales growth of last 10 years 13.8. That is not bad. And profit growth is 9.97. Whatever services they are providing, but they are getting the money accordingly and they are creating the profit of 9.97. Sector is IT and software, growth factor 4. So growth factor 4 is not that much bad. So you can say these 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 companies are having this kind of market leader, monopoly business, and some of the services maybe these companies are providing, other company can't provide. Now next is TCS, Tata Consultancy Services. Market cap is 12 lakh crore. Very, 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 very big market. Uh, uh, this company is having market cap. 28.9 is the P. Stock CAGR is 15%. Debt to profit 0 0.18. And price to book value 14. Current price 34.50. Which is something the 14 times from their book value. Sales growth of this particular stock is 13.6. And profit growth 11.7. So in the both company, if you see Infosys, TCS, both are having the sales growth and profit growth around 10 to 9 percent, 11 percent. Now sector is IT and software and growth factor three. So three growth factors. So this, this, these kind of business model is now you can say very solid, uh, very, very consistent and go, growing in not that much fast speed. What we are expecting from the very, very new uh, uh, SME, uh, MSME companies. Now next company is HDFC Bank. This company is also having very great and big market uh, cap. Right now it's 12 lakh crore also for this company, HDFC Bank. P is 16.2. Even with this particular big market cap, you can understand how much big asset the company is having, how much big uh, uh, cash and other things are having these companies. Showing the P 16.2 with the 12 lakh crore market cap. Means this company have good potential in the upcoming days can this uh, the company can grow faster now six is 10 10 year cagr is 19 percent debt to profit 46.4 debt to profit 46.4 for this particular company hdfc bank why debt to profit is 46 46 debt to profit it means that the uh, this kind of companies providing loans to the particular end user consu consumers and they are recovering the particular amount as an interest or as a principal from their, their these these kind of consumers and as soon as and how much uh, loan they will uh, actually disburse to the particular market that that is the share that this company is growing this company is creating a lot of money with those particular loans that's why the debt to profit is doing higher on on the in the sdfc bank and other other financial uh, institutions price to book value is 3.11 and pri current price is 16.11 sales growth for 10 years 16.9 Profit growth for ten year twenty point nine. So that is the difference. Huh? They are they are doing some services business and and but creating lot of profit. Now sector is banking and financial growth factor six. So six growth factor is not that much bad. You can say six growth factor is is saying that the very good potential, very fast growth can happen for these kind of stock in upcoming years. Next stock is Bajaj Finance. This company also has actually given a multi bag return in last few years not in last two to three years huh? last two, uh, two to three years because of the huge competition because of huge uh, price uh, margin related issues happen with the non banking financial system but this company has given a very good return in last few years profit growth is ultimate and there is a surety that the how the market are, are growing maybe usually the consumer are not leaving the particular bank or financial system because of the services so this company have great market uh, uh, reach to the rural, rural sector, urban sector. Very, very good company. Now let's see. The market cap is 4, 4,24,000 crore. P, 34P. But this company has maintained 50, 60 P also in the past. But uh, based on the growth, uh, what the growth they are going to give. Last 10 years, CAGR is 51% OMG. Very, very good CAGR return by this particular stock. Debt to profit 18, as I told you, 
if you compare with the HDFC Bank, Bajaj Finance debt to profit is 18.8. .8. It means that they are giving loan and taking and they are getting the money back quite quicker, faster. And price to book value 7.8 means what the current price 7018 something these seven times 7.8 times from their particular book value. Sales growth 30% sales growth last 10 years and profit growth last 10 years 32% sector banking and financial and growth factor 5 always check with your advisor before taking further position in this kind of company now next is airtel airtel is the particular brand particular company is something you can say a monopoly business and something you can say a very great market leader great percentage of share in the market and huge consumer base huge consumer base this company, uh, Airtel, you can say uh, very good, great market leader in postpaid, prepaid business. And nowadays, how this work from home and all kind of uh, digital uh, data and digital things are happening, the requirement of internet is growing fast, and the people is 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 like to consume a lot of data. Because of that, this particular scenario, the Airtel is one of the biggest company. You can say market cap is five lakh crore for this Airtel stock P forty five point six and 10 year CAGR is 11%, debt to profit 18.54 means this is the concern here. Now Airtel is the company having good market leader, good market cap, very good branding but having lot of debt. Now 18.4 debt to profit means the company is not having any kind of um, um, loaning loan system but still having lot of debt. So you have to check with your advisor. Huh? Price to book value 6.23 current price is 8.6 sorry 867 is something the uh, six times from their particular book value sales growth for last 10 years 6.1 and profit growth for last 10 years is 15 percent sector telecom and communication growth factor is four next is titan titan is the brand you can say very very good brand uh, product product brand is having this, this is by titan is basically now available in all retailing sector like you can say titan watches uh, eyewears now you can say jewelries very very good uh, market leader in all these kind of uh, product model market cap is 268000 crore p83.1 10 year CAGR is 29% debt to profit 2.86 it means 2.86 means they are having debt not that much big debt but try to repeat fast recover the loan faster so in comparison with the pd light what i see and pend are having and uh, and what the um, other company we discuss uh, where the debt to profit is very low less than one price to book value is 22.6 means current price is 3011 something the 22 times from their particular book value sales growth for last 10 years 14.9 that is very very good and profit growth 16.2 sector retail and brand as i told and growth factor is five next talk is dr eddy in pharmaceutical and drug uh, uh, market this company dr eddy is having very good quality product company is providing very good quality to the market having a great branding and you can say in the pharmaceutical sector if someone is having kind of disease doctor usually prefer to write the medicine for the dr eddy but there are a lot of other good brand like Amort is also there, Pfizer is also there. But Dr. Ed is a one Indian company uh, who is basically a good market leader in this particular sector. Market cap is 96,000 crore, P20, stock CAGR is uh, 10 year CAGR of this particular is 10% only. Yeah? This is last, last few years company was very very steady performance has given but last one month, just one month, stock price moved 1000 more than 1000. Stock debt to profit. See, debt to profit is 0 0.3 means companies having debt, but very less and, and and recovering it very fast. Price to book value 4.16. The company, uh, you can say uh, the current price is 5,823 something. The four times from their particular book value is not that much bad. And sales growth of last 10 years 7.62 is very very good. Is not maybe you can say something flat. Maybe less than 10 is is not considered as a good. But uh, as far as the market uh, concern, lot of players are there, but still containing 7 to 8 percent uh, sales growth is not that much bad for the ready. And profit growth last 10 is 11.8, sector pharmaceutical and drug, and growth factor is 5. Okay. Next is Bajaj Auto. Bajaj Auto is the uh, two-wheeler space, three-wheeler space company, but 
in the in the in the right now in India there are three uh, competitors like TVS is there, Hero Honda is there, Honda is also there. A lot of company are coming in the market, but what you have seen in the last few years, the consistent performance by this Pajaj Auto, even Isar Motors, Royal Enfield is also there. A lot of competition are in the market, but this company is having very good, uh, you can say, brand, very good uh, uh, lasting of the product. Maybe, maybe you you can check with your advisor, huh? taking for the position. Market cap of this particular company is one lakh thirty thousand crore. Huh? P20, CAGR is ten percent last 10 year debt to profit 0 0.2 and price to book value four times so 4.45 so current price 4617 something 4.45 times of their particular book value sales growth is 6.17 that is flat sales you can say and profit growth is 6.8 sector automobile two wheeler three wheeler company and growth factor seven. growth factor seven see this growth factor decided based on the how the population growing in india how the demand of the product will come so accordingly, you can take a particular decision on the on this kind of company. Always check, your, check with your advisor before taking further position on all these kind of stocks. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.